Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Gym Fee Saver. All right. Now, just a couple of things. People be asking me about LA Fitness. I personally, I used to have a gym membership at LA Fitness. I don't like LA Fitness. <laughs> you know, I only reason why I had the membership is because I like playing basketball. But even when I wanted to play basketball, I couldn't play basketball. Um, in my opinion, LA Fitness, they oversell their gym. Like if they if they can only fit like a thousand members inside a gym or, or maybe I'm, I'm just going to stick with a thousand because even a thousand is too much. They will sell 20 times that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's bad when you, when it's like, you're from four all the way to nine, nine thirty. you can't work out because there's so many people there. That's a gym that's been oversold. So that's why I don't, I don't like LA Fitness. You know, on top of that, you know, the, the trainers from my experience, they have maybe out of one out of 10 trainers, maybe a good trainer. Um, a lot of their trainers, they just don't have the experience necessary to get you where you need to be. They're gonna get your workout. You know, there's a difference between a, a workout trainer and a full functional overall performance trainer that's gonna get you where you need to be. And unfortunately, a lot of the trainers that be at LA Fitness, at least in my personal opinion, they're not at the level where they need to be to get you where you want to be as fast as you can. All right, they just don't have the knowledge, um, the knowledge base, and that just comes with time. Listen, a real trainer would tell you that the stuff that they learn in those books or when they're taking their certification test, 50% of that stuff is garbage. Like, 50% <laughs> of that stuff is garbage. You know? They would never even use it, you know, especially when it comes to like the nutritional aspect of it, you know. And then, of course, the main thing is that when you oversell your gym, there's no way you can keep it clean. Matter of fact, I've, I've, I know of two LA fitnesses that got shut down because of Legionnaire's disease. You know, there's no way you keep it clean at the capacity of the people that's coming in and out of there. All different types of people from Lord knows where just coming in and out of there, you know, daily. You know, you, those gyms, they get like a thousand check-ins or 2,000 check-ins a day. So can you imagine trying to clean up after 2,000 people or more a day? Like you will have to have 10 people out like all day just cleaning and of course you know they ain't doing that. So me personally, I'd rather have some a place smaller, a place that's a little bit more cozy where they may have only, you know, no more than a thousand members. Like they peak out at like 1500 members. I'd rather deal with something like that than build, deal with a place that I know that I'm going, it's going to take me forever to work out because I have to wait for all the equipment. I don't want that. It's going, I don't know how clean the place is because I don't know who I'm bending up and in and out of here, you know, all day. And of course, the main thing is I need access to the gym. Like every day is I would wake up at one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning. I can't go to sleep. I just want to go work out. And I just can't do that with LA Fitness. So they're the only place that I do know that are that are pretty good they're pretty clean is um especially in the koei era there's an any hour fitness in the koei um i have i was hired to do some consult work for them and i the place is immaculate the matter of fact they have a cleaning schedule and i think they usually show the cleaning schedule if someone shows you a cleaning schedule uh when they clean and what they do and all that stuff, you know that it's the real deal so that's me thanks for tuning in for another episode of gym fee saver talk to you soon